today we are gonna do this uh, try hack me room challenge get pictures too first of all let's open our files open a terminal here and we are gonna deploy our tmax terminal let's connect the open vpn server new tab now start the machine it's gonna take a time let's wait our machine is up we have to do do an emulation here so we're gonna do you can do n map i'm gonna use a rust scan here okay so three open ports there are 80 let's check the 80 port it's taking so slow got something here cute cat pictures okay let's see the first one all cat images from one splash looks like something is hidden behind the pictures um w get let's copy those pictures link when i exit tool Okay, we got title looks like we got a link here on port 8080 let's copy this let's go to this directory ah, there's a note here i set up an internal git instance to start using isa for the server Okay, there is a GTA running on port 300. Let's check on port 300 or 3000. That was 3000. And we got the credential user, summary, and password. Okay, let's copy this. And Ansible runner port 1337. And if we check our Rust scan. Is there anything on one three three seven? No. Okay, never mind. Let's check. So I got a sign in option. Medium and password. Let's check the port one three three seven. What's this? Oh, we clicked and here is the lock. It's giving us the output. Okay, let's check here summary of ansible and flag one okay we got our flag one
playbook.yml let's check this looks like this run ansible playbook is connected to this to this uh, playbook.yml that's a command who am i so i guess when we click this button run ansible playbook it's gonna run this command on the system who am i because we saw the ping host when we uh, try this ping host in our logs uh, it's ping to somewhere and this is our output so i guess if we inject our uh, reverse shell here on instead of who am i i guess we can do something let's go to bash We have to replace this our host with our host IP address. And port is quad four. let's replace this command with our bash script okay now if we click this button we should see this shell here in few moments okay we got our reverse shell here also got the flag too okay now we have to do privilege escalation basically we have to be the root of the system let's go to cd slash temp and we're gonna download lane piece lane piece is basically check through the system if we somehow can get privilege escalation if anyhow it's gonna indicate okay, we have to set up a python server on the local ip address Port eight thousand okay. Uh, what did that we get? Okay, it's gonna grab the lane piece from our local server. Let's make it executable. Okay, now execute our lane piece. It will take some time, so let's wait. So our lane piece result is still running. It took really some time. 10 minutes. You have to be patient about this. Uh, if we scroll up above, we can see those red lines. 
these are the indicators basically that tell us that uh, where is the vulnerable in the system so we can see a pseudo version is 1.8.21 oh okay p2 let's check this search exploit sudo 1.8.21 I guess this is the exploit we can use against this sudo version 1.8.21 p2 let's copy this um w uh, git clone so we have things in our cv we have to um transfer these files inside the cv these files to our victim machine here on the temporary directory now we can do the we can do that we can um, make a zip file so that we can transfer it easily okay we can do this i guess here this is the, our zip file now let's set up a python server okay and our local address is this wget http 0 ok we have downloaded the xp.fatar now we have to unzip it Okay, it's unzipped. CV two zero two one three one five six. Okay, now we have to use make. Did you do it? Okay, let's see the dot exploit dot exploit. Permission denied. Okay, dot x. okay we are in we are root now let's go to root directory we got our flag 3 okay we have completed the get pictures too so i guess that's how we can do the privilege escalation using this cv 2021 i hope it helps you thank you everyone